House of Lords. The House of Lords and an elected chamber didn't want to agree to the plan to send asylum seekers to Rwanda. But Prime Minister Rishi Sunak said he would make Parliament walk late into the night until they agree. He was very clear. No ifs, no buts. These flights are going to Rwanda. No ifs, no buts. These flights are going to Rwanda. And most importantly, once the processing is complete, we will physically remove people. Finally, after some pressure, the House of Lords said yes to the plan. This is a big win for Sunak's government. He promised that the first flight to Rwanda would start in a few weeks. This move is seen as a way to help Conservative Party look better before election coming later this year. Sadly, shortly after the bill was approved, a terrible accident happened. Five people died while trying to cross from France to the UK. They were on a small boat with over 100 others when it capsized. This shows how risky the journey can be for migrants seeking safety. The UK Supreme Court declared the scheme unconstitutional, warning it could lead to human rights violation. In response, the government introduced a controversial new bill asserting Rwanda as a safe destination despite the past mistreatment of migrants. The bill also directs UK courts to ignore both domestic human rights, laws, and international refugee agreements, sparking condemnation from the UN Human Rights Office. Critics argued the plan is not just illegal and cruel, but also costly. A government report revealed that sending someone to Rwanda will be £63,000 more expensive than housing them in the UK. Moreover, the effectiveness of the plan as a deterrent remains questionable. Despite concerns from the European Union members, I am intrigued by the UK's approach, seeing it as a potential solution to reduce migration. From the beginning, the plan has been caught up in a legal battle. In June 2022, the first deportees were taken off a flight just before departure due to a court order from the European Court of Human Rights. Later, the UK Supreme Court declared practice of sending asylum seekers to Rwanda. It's illegal and risky. Financial concerns have also plagued the scheme, with the National Audit Office estimating it will cost the UK 540 million to deport the first 300 asylum seekers. Then, since 2018, more than 120,000 people, many fleeing conflict and poverty in Africa, the Middle East, and Asia, have arrived in UK by crossing English Channel in small boats, typically inflatable dinghies organized by smugglers. Last year, almost 30,000 asylum seekers did the same, with many from Afghanistan. But now, the UK government's plan to deport asylum seekers to Rwanda has sparked significant controversy and criticism. Opponents argue that the scheme is inhuman, highlighting Rwanda's problematic human rights record and the risk of asylum seekers being returned to countries where their safety is not guaranteed. The new law called the Safety of Rwanda Bill means some UK human rights rules won't apply and judges have to say Rwanda is safe, even though the Supreme Court of UK said it wasn't okay before. This law also makes it hard for asylum seekers to appeal if they are sent there. This approach has garnered attention beyond the UK, with other European Union nationals, including Australia and Germany, considering similar agreement to process asylum seekers in third countries. But Rwanda's scheme aimed at reducing the number of asylum seekers crossing the English Channel in small boats has faced considerable backlash from United Nations human rights experts and groups supporting asylum seekers. As this ETEC policy moves forward, it remains a major topic for debate, reflecting border issues like immigration, human rights, international responsibilities. The outcome of this effort will have a big impact on how the UK deals with asylum seekers and how it's seen globally. This new law is seen as a big win for the UK government, especially for Prime Minister Rishi Sunak, who has made stopping illegal channel crossing as a top priority. However, the law is still causing a lot of disagreements with some saying it could violate human rights and questioning if it will work. With the passing of this law, 
the UK's entry a new face in its immigration policy, one that is sure to spark more debates both at home and around the world, but at a right-thinking person. Asking why is Rwanda open to be dumping ground? i leave you with that. Until next time, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and share your thoughts in the comments section below. Don't forget to subscribe by clicking the subscription button, activating the notification bell for future videos. Take care.